Thank you very much, Steffi, for your warm words, and thank you for inviting us. Good afternoon. Lebensmut is a charity organization with the aim to help and support cancer patients and their relatives, especially their kids. Of all possible diseases, cancer is the one with the worst reputation. Please, don't let it be cancer. That's what nearly everybody thinks in time of unspecific pain. Anything but not cancer. It is proven that cardiac diseases are the main causes of death worldwide. But it's cancer that is felt like an immediate lethal threat, nearly like a death sentence. Fortunately, as we have heard, this must not be true. Medicine has recently made enormous progress in developing new methods for treating cancer successfully. Still, it's a cancer diagnosis that hits the patients like a shock with a long-time effect. Professor Wolfgang Kiedemann, head of oncology department of the Munich University and board chairman of Lebensmut, has an explanation. He says that the reason why we feel so much in danger is that we cannot associate a picture with cancer. If you have a heart attack, you know your vessels are blocked. Okay, you can imagine that. You imagine what's happening, and you might help you in a way. But cancer, which means to imagine cells that are proliferating on and on and migrating the body, no possibility to control them, that's so scary. So Professor Hiedemann works with pictures when he talks to his patients, for example, about chemotherapy. He creates a sort of movie for their imagination, a storyboard of a successful medicine also migranting the body, but killing the malicious cells, finally helping to survive. Anyhow, quite often there is more than a promising treatment regimen that a patient needs after confrontation with a cancer diagnosis. And that's when Lebensmut comes in. Our team helps to answer the questions that every patient poses immediately. Question number one, why me? Question number two, what did I do wrong? Usually there are quite simple answers if you leave aside alcohol or tobacco abuse. Answer number one, there is no reason why you got sick. It's fate, simply fate. Answer number two, and you didn't do anything wrong. You're not guilty of anything. Again, it's fate. When a patient comes to us after a cancer diagnosis, there are several topics he needs to know. First, they are usually existential problems. Who will look after my family? Who will pay my rent? What shall I tell to my boss? What shall I say to my clients? But the patient also needs to talk about their personal theory, why they got sick, about their guilt feelings. We provide them with intensive talks. It's always the patient who is in the center of our attention. And we are creating perspectives for the future. You might not believe it, but there are a lot of positive side effects during the long time of a cancer treatment. Afterwards, when the battle is won, we hear stories about periods of tranquility, of contemplation, of quality time with friends and family. Lebensmut helps cancer patients for 16 years now. Meanwhile, our, part is, our team is part of the daily routine in the hospitals, in our eight wards and in the nearest hospital around. Our motto is, we won't leave you alone with your sorrows and fear. Now I would like to introduce you to a very special woman who was a great supporter of Lebensmut nearly from the beginning. She was a member of the board for eight years and is now headwoman of the board of trustees, my friend Marlene Ippen. Here I am. I never wanted to have anything to do with cancer. My mother died when I was very young. My father had cancer for more than 25 years, died with nearly 90. And my two eldest brothers, out of five, were struck with cancer. So 
I decided very young that I did not want to be confronted with this subject. I wanted to live, be happy, be grateful for what I had, and be around positive in my life. I had on my daily, or nearly daily, drive downtown Munich from outside, from Gräfefing, I always came by an ugly monster called Großhadern, with a very, very, very difficult uh, charisma, I would say negative. <laughs> Bad vibes were coming. Going by, I would pray to have to go there only to visit with friends and never for myself. So, but this always changed when I had dinner with Professor Hiedemann. A friend of us brought us together. I didn't know why, but she knew why. She wanted to attract me to work with him. He had come from Göttingen and um, a chief oncologist in Europe, an expert, and he had found out for himself that his work with high, very high, um, high-tech knowledge was nothing alone without empathy. Empathy was the word he used, Mitgefühl in German, and he had created a charity society in Göttingen already, and then in Munich, where it was very necessary to take the bad vibes of Großhadern and to let his patients be comfortable. High-tech medicine does not go with our medical system. Uh, goes with the medical system, but empathy needs something because insurances don't pay. Doctors, nurses cannot bring that into the life of the patient to do to give the healing factor its positive thing. So he had the problem to have a very small group of people working for him, and he had the problem of raising money for the work he wanted to have done for his patients. So he asked me to help work, and uh, we found out, of course, as everyone knows, it's easy to, to um, get money for children, young children, sick children, but it's very difficult for adults. So we started, and I started to work in this group of people, and by talking about Lebensmut, in Munich, outside of Munich, in Germany, outside, <laughs> wherever I went, I was so um, dedicated to it. I started networking, finding people who worked with us, and our group grew, became bigger and bigger. And I also started charity events in our uh, printing hall, old printing hall. The rotation was taken somewhere else, and so we had a room where we could have artists, singers and actors, young actors from the Falkenberg School. They would come and act for us. And we started with very little money, 5,000, 6,000 euros, but we are up to nearly 25 or even a little more, bit more for our events where about 200 people come. So if you hear about it, come and have a, an evening with us. Uh, Lebensmut uh, does it every year in November, and we have a wonderful time together there. What we do with the money we get, this is only, we get donations, of course, from other sides too, but this is one of our basic things. What we do with it, my friend Ilona will tell you about what we do in the clinic and outside the clinic with this money with, that we get, that we collect. Thank you very much. I first experienced cancer personally 18 years ago when my mother was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. In a split second, everything changed. We were all in shock. There were tons of questions, but not a single answer. I wish Lebensmut had existed at this time. 
Our society begins its charity work in such situations of absolute personal desperation. Precisely in our contact and information center in Großhadern Medical Center. Patients gladly accept this easy access offer because it gives them guidance as well as direction. And it helps them in understanding their new life situation. But if I am a patient, how do I know which kind of help would be good for me? What exactly are my needs in this situation? We believe that the secret lies in caring and in talking. In our contact and information center, our team works closely with the patient in finding out what this special patient needs most. And with our offers, we help patients in finding a way out of a jungle of fears and questions. In cases where we are unable to help directly, we use our broad network and establish important contacts. Our supports are also available to all those who seek our advice from outside the hospital. These are our offers. In order to be able to support cancer patients professionally during their illness, we have hired experienced psychotherapists who spend a lot of time talking to the patients. These talks can be booked via our contact center. Due to their illness, some patients wish to explore new ways of life. They can attend our art therapy classes. Our breath therapy, in German, Atemtherapy, is an island of tran tranquility. It helps patients to relax deeply on a physical and on a mental level. And of course, the right food is very important. What should I eat to avoid losing more weight? Which foods are good for me? Our nutrition counseling offers valuable information and practical support. Last but not least, together with the Menuhin Society, we organize concerts in the cancer wards. The young musicians of live music now are a welcome diversion in day-to-day -day hospital routine. But our most successful offer is our family and child consultation hour. If a family member falls ill, the whole family is under immense pressure. Children suffer especially if they do not understand what is wrong with mommy or daddy, why mommy often cries or why daddy is so excited. That is why we have a special child therapist. She takes care of children and parents quickly, without unnecessary paperwork and without long waiting times. Our support is available during the whole course of the illness, even after the possible death of the patient. This continuous support is unique in Munich. And what is connecting Lebensmut with DLD, our internet expert Elke will tell you now. Well, Lebensmut and Internet. Nowadays, doctors are used to meeting patients who already know a great deal, since they have searched the platforms in the net for every possible detail in connection to their disease. Most of the doctors get accustomed to take, talking to informed patients, and they understand this, even though they, that it doesn't save them time. On the contrary. It's a similar situation when patients come to us to Lebensmut. We try to guide them through the labyrinth of information and support them with our network. As one of our psycho-oncologists once described, the patient and I, we are on a highway, and I'm the one who is able to show him the right exit. Because I know if he takes the wrong exit, he might end up in a jungle of faulty informations crowded with witch doctors. And as a consequence, he may lose important time for his cure. We recommend addresses like KIT, the Krebs Informationsdienst in Heidelberg, or the American Society of Cancer. And we have, of course, our own well-researched and received internet address. You find it here, behind me. So in case you are interested in our work, don't hesitate to get in contact with us. And we are always in need of funding to continue our necessary work so if you want to help us, you are more than welcome. And for this, you will also find details in our, on our website. 
Just one final remark. While the three of us prepared this little talk, there was one crowd coming up again and again. There was one word coming up again and again. Serendipity. It's an old word from the end of the 18th century and is one of the 10 English words that are hardest to translate. The original meaning is pleasant surprise. We translate serendipity like this, to work together in a team like ours, to be open for new developments, to take risk, not going always paved roads. That's what makes up the magic of our work, serendipity. Thank you. Thank you.